This tutorial explains how to handle the error message discrete value supplied to continuous scale in the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines two and three of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of our studio that a new data set is appearing, which is called data. And if you click on this data frame, a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains two columns, X and Y. And the first column, X, contains numeric values and the column Y contains ranges of numeric values stored as a character string. So if we want to draw these data using the ggplot2 package, we also need to install and load the ggplot2 package, as you can see in lines five and six of the code. I have installed this package already, so for that reason, I'm just going to load it with line six of the code. And after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the ggplot2 package, such as ggplot and geompoint, as you can see in lines eight and nine of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the bottom right that a new plot has been created. And as you can see, this plot shows our x variable on the x axis and our y variable on the y axis. So let's assume that we want to set an axis limit on the y axis. Then we might try to use the scale y continuous function. And within this function, we might try to set an axis limit between 0 and 30 to cut off the highest row of our plot where the values are larger than 31. However, if we run these lines of code, you can see at the bottom in the RStudio console that the error message discrete value supplied to continuous range is returned. And the reason for that is that the scale y continuous function cannot be applied to characters. However, the ranges in our variable y are character strings. And for that reason, we need to apply a different approach. And this is shown in the remaining lines of code, starting in line 15 of the code. So in line 15 of the code, I'm first creating a subset of our data frame based on our column y. And I'm telling R that I want to create a subset that contains all values that are unequal to the character string 31 plus. And then I'm storing the subset that I'm creating here in a new data frame, which is called data new. So if you run line 15 of the code, a new data frame is appearing at the top right, which is called data new. And if you click on this data frame, you can see that we have created a subset of our data because now all the rows where the column y was equal to 31 plus have been removed. Now in the next step, we can once again apply the ggplot and geompoint functions. However, this time we are using the new data set data new. So if you run lines 17 and 18 of the code, you can see at the bottom right that our highest row with the values on the y axis 31 plus has been removed. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage, statisticsglobe.com, because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video, so you can find it there. If you have liked this video, or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.